We're here with Ken Bernstein today, and uh, we are representing our Sevastopol Peg channel. And of interest today is the stone wall that was built here by Ken. Before we get into the actual wall building and some of the details associated with that, Ken, could you tell us a little bit about uh, maybe when the Bernstein family first settled here in Door County? Uh, it doesn't have to be too specific, but we're also interested in yourself, your family. If you could just share some of those thoughts with us, uh, we'd appreciate that. All right, well, my, where's your yeah. Okay, uh, Grandpa Bruno came over here from Germany. Uh, that's, okay, that's where, uh, where our family started from. Uh, my, then my dad met my mom down in Jacksonport at a little cottage and they've farmed all their life. My dad was in the shipyard. Our whole family was in the shipyard except for my youngest sister and worked their dad 30 years, ourself, myself 25 years, the rest thereabouts. Dick? Did you, did you start in the uh, shipbuilding business or did you start farming when you first uh, got married? Uh, well, when I first got married, we were, uh, I was in the shipyard. I was, I, we were on, I was on the farm before that, and Dad said, son, you're coming with me, you're going to work. <laughs> so I became a welder for 17 years. That's interesting. Now, how much acreage do you have here, Ken? Two acres. Oh, this is a very nice plot. Now, I, I noticed besides the nice wall you have here, it's, it's beautifully landscaped. Who's responsible for all the landscaping work? Uh, I'll have to ask, answer that, my wife and I. <laughs> you guys did, a, did a, do a very nice job, a great job. Uh, what about uh, your family? Could you give us a little insight as to uh, how large your family is and uh, details like that? Well, there's six in our family. There's Lester's the oldest brother, Daryl, myself, uh, Janet, Dick, and Carla. Oh, that's amazing. So that's a very nice sized family. All right, we'll move on now and get on to this stone wall. I've driven by a number of times, and I stopped in a couple of times to say hello, and you mentioned to me that you're keeping a, a little register of all the people that have stopped by. Is that true? That's absolutely true, and I am totally flabbergasted how many people have signed my register. All over from Minnesota to Illinois to Iowa to Texas. I can go on and on. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where all else, but there's a, quite a few. That, that is amazing. Now, this is quite a wall, and that's the reason a lot of people stop by here. How did you get the first, what possessed you, I guess, to start building a wall like this? Well, I have a third cousin over in Ireland, and we went to Ireland the 8th of May, and I was just absolutely astonished with the stone fences over there. And I dug a stone out of my garden, and I thought, well, where am I going to put this? Other than I know I could put it on a stone fence somewhere. But I put it on the end where I started up that way. <laughs> and uh, I just, early retirement, so I had to have something to do, and I call that my therapy. Uh, well, you, you get a lot of therapy, because I've seen you out here uh, snow flying, uh, raining, uh, cold. How long has it taken you to get to this point? I noticed you probably have maybe 125 yards or so of, of, of fender or a stone wall. How long did it take you to get to this point? This is my second year and I started the 1st of May of last year. Oh, that, that's a lot of progress. Now were the stone walls in Ireland uh, as large as this? Uh, no, they weren't. They weren't this wide and well the height maybe was the same, but they weren't this wide. Oh, that, that's interesting. Um, how did you, or where did you get all the stones uh, for this wall? And then, you know, if you would just add on, how did you get all, I see you have your truck and um, a cart here that brings the stones. Where do you get all the stones from? Uh, John Bagnell's my neighbor, and they rented land from Ray Paul, and there was a lot of stones on Ray Paul's land to be picked. So they brought them over here on a flat rack wagon, and I'd unload them and I'd start building my wall. I've gotten them from my classmate, Terry Junion, uh, over on Highway 42, Kevin Wilkie. Uh, I think that just about sums it. Oh, and then, no, I can't leave out uh, Mike and Jamie Henschel. They've uh, 
got a pile on Jarman Road, and they're letting me have what I need. Now, that's a lot of weight to, uh, to carry around. Uh, how did you get the stones? Well, I know how you got the stones here, but some of these big stones, how did you possibly lift those? Uh, my wife has a cousin that lives right next to Mike and Jamie Henschel's stone pile, and he has a skidster. He was kind enough to come up and help me load them up. He tipped them, worked them in the bucket, picked them up with the bucket, and put them in my trailer and hauled them over here and started stacking them. Now, I notice I'm looking at this wall. It is straight. It's, it's flat on the sides. It's flat on top. Uh, was this a design that you got out of a magazine? Is this something that you just decided to do and it should work? And how did you get this? Do you have a hidden artistic talent? Is that what it is, Ken? <laughs> no, I just started doing it and this is what turned out. I, have, I didn't read any books. I, I just picked up a stone and started going. And you know, everybody asks, well, how do you know what stone goes where? And you just, I don't know, I just, Say, well, it looks like that one will work, and I put it in there, and if it don't work, I try another one. But I've been getting quite successful at only one or two stones, and that does it. So, Well, th this is quite a, I, I call it art, and I know we, we talked about that when I stopped by uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, I see it as art, because this is not something that anyone can just pick up and do. Uh, so you have a hidden artistic talent, whether you know it or not. So my next question is, after this wall is completed, what's going to be the next challenge? Uh, that's a good question. Well, I, I probably have two more years of wall to build yet because of uh, all these people that have signed my book. They want to see more yet. So it's like, okay, I got some I can do yet. I can go north and south on my road, along the road, and then I can go up the other way back north and south down to the barn and then that's going to be I don't know that's a good question keep everything up I guess all the flower beds that, yeah. I, well you you have you still have some more work to be completed that's that's for sure so you have two more years to figure out your next venture okay. what I what I try to do is get it leveled out and then when I have it level to where I figure it's going to work I Take and look on the trailer and grab whatever stone looks like it'll fit. And looks like this one right here will go. Whether it's the right one or not, well, we'll see. Yeah, there's some tweaking yet to do, but anyway, that's what I do. driving by and keeping an eye just to see what uh, you'll be coming up with. So for now, I think, uh, unless you, do you have anything else you'd like to add, Ken, before we, uh, we sign off? I just want to thank everybody that's stopped. We've got, you know, and Tom, you know, I, I'm terrible at names, so, you know, the artist on Glidden Drive? Uh, yes. Uh, hey, your name is Hayden. Oh, oh. Roxanne. Okay, that, Roxanne. yep, okay. Well, anyway, she's stopped and she just walked up one side and down the other with just total amazement, and that I really appreciate that. Well, that's wonderful. I understand that uh, she might do a painting here. Uh, 
I don't know if it will get done yet before the, uh, the snow flies, but uh, I understand she's interested as well. So you're getting a lot of popularity out of this. Uh, and it's, it's great, I think, to visit different neighbors in Sevastopol and see the different designs and different things that people are doing. I think it's a real, it's a real charge for our community to have this kind of artistic work and, and good down-to-earth people who enjoy putting things together. It's very nice, Ken. Thank you very much. Uh, one, one more comment. I, I never dreamt in my entire life when I turned 62 that this is what I would be doing. And no, I didn't know that I had this talent. I just, my brother stopped this morning, my oldest brother stopped this morning, and he says, how do you know what stone to pick up? And I said, I don't know, I just do. <laughs> so I, 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 I thank the whole neighborhood for all the support they're giving me. Well, that's, that's, that's heartfelt and, and very emotionally felt as well. We're signing off, and uh, thank you, Laddie. Uh, as everyone knows, Laddie is our producer and director. I think we have a, a fine show to put on our channel, and we appreciate the time you spent with us, Ken. Thank you. Thank you.